Thanks, Sean. Hi, Tyler. Tyler, obviously we, we've seen you play and we know you're not inf- afraid to uh, to get involved and throw hits and do all that physical kind of stuff. I've noticed you know, guys are, are, are going back at you too and maybe taking little shots at you. Are, do you feel you're more of a target by opponents now within you first kind of jumped into the league last year? Uh, you know, maybe a little bit. Um, but, you know, I just try to play my game every day. Um, you know, I think uh, my line mate gets a little more shots, so um, can't really say I get too much, but um, I think maybe a little bit. Thanks. Next question, Jim Matheson. Uh, Kyler, I just want to know if you uh, have always played a style where you charge into the corners and you come up with the puck. Uh, yeah, I mean, during juniors, um, you know, our team played a little bit of a um, – you know, chip in and go get the puck. So I've played, um, you know, a, ho- a lot of hockey like that. And, um, you know, I don't mind going into a corner and battling and, um, you know, trying to win that puck. Because a lot of smaller players are go through the middle of the ice and they dazzle and stuff like that. Um, but they leave the bigger guys <clears throat> to do the, uh, the heavy lifting in the corners. Is that something that you consciously worked on? Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, anytime I go into a corner, you know, I try to win that puck battle. So, I mean, bigger guys don't really deter me. I've been the smallest guy um, on every team I've played. So, um, you know, I don't think those guys uh, really scare me anymore. And what do you weigh? Uh, about 155. Okay. Thank you. Next question, Ryan Rashog, TSN. Connor, just wonder about your kind of evolution playing with Leon Dreisaitl. You're obviously very comfortable there after the time you spent last season. But do you feel even more comfortable just in terms of, you know, generating yourself and not always looking for him? And has your confidence grown just in terms of your ability to get things done on that line as well? I do. Um, you know, it's only been a short stint uh, since I've been playing with Tricetto, but, um, you know, every game I feel like we've been growing um, chemistry. And, you know, he's really good. He talks to me a lot on the bench, um, you know, giving me pointers and stuff like that. So. Um, you know, I think our chemistry is only growing and, um, you know, it can only go up from here. What kind of a uh, challenge do you expect from Winnipeg and how would you, I don't know, compare that to what Toronto threw at you? Do you need a similar style of game or is it, uh, is it a, a pretty different challenge? You know, I think our mindset going into it is just playing the same way, um, you know, just a hard road game, um, you know, hard to play against, um, you know, harder than D zone, hard in the offensive zone, um, kind of stuff like that. So I think um, we're going to go in with the same mindset. Uh, and just one more for me. I just wonder how it feels being on the road with the situation, what it is, where you know, you're getting deeper into a road trip now or maybe a little bit of relaxing time might have been in order when you landed tonight to like going and doing something as opposed to just having to stay in your hotel room and have just your sense of what the road would be like this year, especially on these trips that are four or five days long and how different that'll be? Uh, it's, it's definitely a little different, but, you know, hotels are awesome. Um, you know, they made a lounge for us, um, you know, with a lot of different activities to hang out with the guys. So, um, you know, having that, it's awesome. And, um, you know, when you want your alone time, you can just go to your room and hang out. So it's, uh, you know, it's been actually pretty enjoyable. And, um, you know, I think it'll, it'll be nice um, um, throughout the season. Derek Van Deese, Post Media. Hi, Kyle. I just want to ask you about uh, playing with Patrick Cahoon and how's that fitting in. You guys seem to be kind of two similar type players, and how is that uh, synergy between the two of you guys developing? Uh, he's awesome to play with. Um, you know, he kind of plays a similar style like me. Um, you know, likes to go get the puck in the corner, so it's awesome. You know, I always know I have support when I go in there. Um, and, you know, when he goes in the corners, I always try to support him. Um, but he's an awesome player, really skilled, um, you know, great shot. So, um, you know, really looking forward to building that chemistry with him. I also wanted to ask you about the defensive approach you guys did played in Toronto. I know that uh, there, there were some questions whether you guys could play that game. Because how big was it to be able to showcase or you know, show that you could play a uh, lockdown type of game uh, against a team like Toronto with a lot of weapons? It's huge. Um, you know, I think our team knows we can play that way. Um, you know, we just got to stick to it throughout the game. Um, you know, sometimes we, we stray away from that, but, um, you know, I definitely think we can play that way all the time. Next question, Jack Michael, 6-3, Chad. Kyler, in retrospect, just first a thought on last night's game. 
if you're able to kind of kill the remainder of that power play, does it become a different game up one nothing with a shorthanded goal in your satchel? Um, I mean, I think so. Anytime you have a lead in the game, um, you know, it puts a little bit different perspective on the game. But, um, you know, there's nothing you can do. We just got to, you know, move past that and um, keep working throughout the game. And, Kyler, my, my follow-up would be, when you look back on it, you know, if you'd gotten maybe the one to go in Pittsburgh when you were first up or you'd have had some, you had some tough puck luck on your first couple of call-ups, in retrospect, had those gone in, would you have been here to stay, or do you think you needed the extra time in the, in the American League just to, you know, kind of refine what it, what it meant to be a pro? You know, it's tough to say. Um, you know, I think everything happens for a reason, and, um, you know, I'm kind of glad I went down to the A. Um, you know, i got to work on a lot of lot of little things in my game that, um, you know, that I refined down there and, um, you know, that are helping me out now. So, um, yeah, as I said, I think everything happens for a reason, and, um, you know, glad I did. Jim Matheson, Post Media. A couple of things, Kyler. What did you learn in the playoffs last year against Chicago? And the other question is, Around the net, how difficult is it to get to the blue paint when there's a lot of defensemen that are six foot four and uh, you have to get underneath them as you did to uh, Chara? <laughs> um, against Chicago, um, I learned that that's a playoffs are tough. Um, you know, teams are there to win. Um, doesn't matter what they do, but um, you know it's a tough league, and you know every game matters. Um, that's what I think I learned the most. And, Playoffs was every game matters. You can't just take a game off, um, you know, because that team wants to win every time. And, um, you know, getting a little blue paint, it is definitely tough, um, you know, when you go against a bigger guy. But, um, you know, I try to use my speed and quickness, you know, try to get around those guys to get to the blue paint. Paul Gazzola, Oilers TV. Hey, Tyler. Um, how much attention are you paying to the North Division standings? And whenever you do look at them, do you ever feel the heat of how tight it is? Uh, I pay a little bit of attention. Um, you know, I I don't think we have uh, you know too much pressure right now. Um, you know, it's early on in the season. Um, guys haven't played in four or five months. It's a longer off season, so I think we're still trying to get into our rhythm. And um, you know, I think all these um, you know lessons we're learning in these few games are definitely going to help us out in the long run.